So when you're bundling up this winter, getting out the hats and gloves, whether it's to race in the Iditarod or to hit the slopes, you might not think much about what they're made of, but chances are they're not made from ox's wool. Yes, that was ox's wool, musk oxes to be specific. So if you've never heard of a musk ox, you certainly aren't alone. The woolly creatures survived the ice age, most likely because of their warm exterior. These creatures can survive 100 degrees below zero, but they couldn't survive the hunters in Alaska. So by 1865, they were completely wiped out. But in 1930, the US government stepped in and reintroduced them by bringing around 30 animals from Greenland. And well, the government's investment might just be paying off. The kivut from the animal or the wool is one of the warmest and sturdiest materials and it's being harvested at one of the only musk ox farms in the entire world. It's located in the Matanuska Valley near Palmer, Alaska. Mark Austin, executive director of the farm, explains why these animals are now being domesticated. We are trying to create an, an economic opportunity for people living in rural Alaska. By domesticating this animal, we can hopefully create a cottage industry, a cottage fiber industry that people can harvest the kivute and then sell it and earn money and stay home, where, live where they want. While you should not go play with the musk oxen unless properly supervised, I had a chance to get up close and personal. Feeding a musk ox is like feeding a cow or something very sweet and gentle. And they're very soft and lovely to touch. People in the industry know the value of kivute. I'm a hand spinner. And for many, many years I've been fascinated with the kivute, the musk ox and the fiber. I try to get my hands in every different kind of fiber. So while Mother Nature is gearing up for a new blast of coldness, the musk oxen are now standing their ground and, well, keeping us warm. Masada Siegel reporting, Matanuska Valley, Alaska.